Hey everybody, how are you? Okay, today we're gonna make a super cool Easter design. And again, it have lots of variations and all depends what would you like. So I'm gonna show you both at the same time and you will see. Ta-da! So the idea, these are uh, Easter baskets, baskets with a bunny and eggs around. And these ones have the eggs and a carrot and a bunny carrot <laughs> coming out. So I just put a happy Easter there. Mm, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, you don't have to, there are different variations. But the cool thing about this design is we're gonna make the basket and then the bunny. I already show you how to make this bunny in a past tutorial. So this is the bunny that we're gonna make. It's gonna be faster. And the carrot is very easy, just a half 160 green. You're gonna make an apple twist or a marriage twist to a 160 orange and then you just have to make that cute little face um are you ready so if you pay attention it's almost the same idea right the the faces now let's start it we're going to grab first a 260 inflated brown inflated like six finger tail and now this is the thing this is the thing I make this one first, and I noticed um, if I make, I was thinking if I make this green, it's gonna be the grass and uh, and what is this? And the basket, the Easter basket, is going to be uh, right on top of the grass, the green. But look how it looks. I think it looks better if it's all just the basket. Don't you think? So it's up to you. So that's why the flower, the pe the seven pair of flower, we're gonna put uh, make it brown. But it's up to you. You decide if you want to try other colors. Again, if you want the, the basket to be another color, maybe yellow. So instead of this 260, I'm stuck here. Instead of this 260 brown, you can make it into yellow or this pastel, yellow pastel, or any pastel colors. But make sure you have 160, the same color as the 260 you're going to use. You decide. You decide. Now, I told you already, it's six finger tail. One more thing, I don't want to forget. I know there's people uh, sending me a message on my email or as a comment here on this YouTube channel, sending, um, they saying they're gonna send or they are sending things. And I super, super happy, thank you so much. I couldn't be able to get out of my house of the property because we have lots of snow. So probably it's in my mailbox. And as soon as I receive the package, I would love to share it with all of you so you can see what other uh, subscribers send to this channel and maybe it can give you ideas for you to um, think what to bring to this channel because the idea is to make this YouTube channel much better. How? Always in the description. I have lots of ideas, a Bingo account, a PayPal account. I even have my address so you can send balloons or you can send things that you think as a balloon twister I can use. So um, please, um, I will very well appreciate it. I just don't want to forget because uh, it's uh, really cool to uh, make this channel always much better. And you know what we use in this channel are balloons, Sharpies. If you can send Sharpies, it will be awesome. I run out of uh, blush now. And blush, before the blush was the pink. So, <laughs> but I know Grandma B, she's sending pinks. So if you can send blush color, because those are very important colors. You never think, but for me, because I don't use the makeup and I should, but I don't have any makeup even not for myself. <laughs> okay, let's keep going with this. I'm just, <laughs> you stretch, you make a look like three finger blue or four, but all the looks you make, try to make it at the same size. So you're gonna make a seven pair of flowers. If you don't, if you can make a seven pair of flower, you just make six petal, um, petals. If you can make six, you just make five. But whatever, you know, you can just do it. Here's seven petals. And it's all like this, but as soon as I pop this part, I'm gonna use my little, little thing like this and bam, bam, bam. Awesome, very careful. Make sure you pass the rest all around. Couple times. Now, you, I use my chase and then I open the, the flower. So, I think if you make seven pair of flowers, it looks much better, but with six or five, it's okay. Especially if you're a beginner, don't stress out, don't worry. With practice, you're gonna be able to make this. So this is a seven pair of flower. 
We're gonna keep it in a moment on my table right here. The next thing is we're gonna have to cut off like half, half of the basket because we need to put whatever we're gonna add. And this is the question. I have two ideas. Bunny, a big bunny with a small X or big X with a small carrot. So I'm gonna show you both. What happens if you wanna make the big X? So I recommend you to have printed balloons. I have these two colors. And the trick about this is just to inflate it very soft. You don't want this too big to tie, just very soft, like no more than four finger. Okay? You tie it like this, and you have to do the same the other one. So pretend this, this is gonna be eyeballs for your turtles. You do this, right? So you have very squishable and soft. Why? Why is soft and squishable? Because you have to twist it. Look, you have to grab the half and twist it. So you have two bubbles. And you can use this part of your fingers. And now you're going to do the same here. Half. And squish and twist it in half. Now, you don't want to twist each other too much. Now you have to better grab both and twist it both at the same time. I think it's going to be easier. And what I like here is to kind of like keep this idea. Look. Um, I prefer that it's better if you have pink, blue, pink, blue, pink, blue. If you have polka dots with green or purple, you said it's okay. But this is how it's going to look. So now, this is an effect. Here you're just going to be able to see two. But if you put it like this, you're going to be able to see three. So you just, that it's better if you use the front as three, like this way. Now, you can even have one tip here to connect it with this. Now, pass it a couple of times, and there you go, you have this. Now, now when you have something here, you're gonna be able to finish your basket. What you have to do, inflate it six finger tail, each 160 brown because the base is brown and I think it's gonna look better. Uh, you're gonna just make one bubble in each side, or one and a half, Twist one through there, pew. You can make pinch twist each one. I think it's gonna look, you know, cleaner. <laughs> is that the word? Okay, when you have that, look, squish, pull, so this is long and skinnier. And this is what I'm gonna do. You're gonna make a spiral. I'm doing a spiral here, okay? So you're gonna measure your spiral approximately, what is this? A four plus floor plus four like no more than 12 fingers long okay and when you twist it together now you're going to measure again one or one and a half bubbles the same so you don't uh, waste time and then you both gonna make a pinch twist so you have now this two pinch twists and then a spider and then two pinch twists and now you again squish a stretch and you're going to make another spiral idea and make sure it's kind of the same size approximately okay and when you have that you're gonna grab your eggs here and kind of like go one to the other side okay one to the other side connected with the two pinch twist when you make this now you can accommodate things you kind of like pull the eggs a little bit out and make sure you want three eggs coming out. I think it looks better. Okay? And just kind of like attaching. And you always kind of have to look the best angle. That's why I look by the side and I think, oh, this is the best thing. And it also kind of look like a nest, don't you think? Now, from here to the side, you just need only one. Because you can make, again, a spiral to make, you know, the, the holder. But you don't have to. I think it looks better with only one. So I'm just going to cut this one with your cutter. Don't use your... You have, don't use your nails and this one save it for other future designs like as a balloon scrap and then I grab it to tie just tie it lock them the way you prefer and now from here I recommend you to make like something very long a long loop so this is kind of like how long it's like let me see four plus four eight twelve sixteen twenty twenty four 28, what else? 
thirty two and thirty two, thirty seven, like approximately thirty seven fingers. Okay, I think it looks better like this. Thirty seven fingers. Yep, and the rest you just pass it around, tidy, it, hide it. It's okay. Okay, so you have this. Look how cute. Now you accommodate the angle because you want three eggs coming out from there from the front. Mm -hmm. Don't you think this is really cool? I'm just gonna take this out. Awesome. Now, uh, from here, you can leave it like this. Okay, it's something fast. It can be in a headband, it can be in a bracelet, in a one, on a candy cap. But we want to have something more elaborated, and especially what because I was thinking a candy cup that is you know more elaborated, maybe something here that says Happy Easter, put in a sticker that says Happy Easter, and then what else that is simple but can be here as Easter. And I thought about the mini carrot bunny, <laughs> the mini carrot bunny. So I'm gonna just grab this, but you just can use it with a balloon scrap, and it's just a 160. Look, if it's too hard to introduce your finger in a 160, try it with a 260. I, I'm sure it's gonna work great. And then you just grab half of a balloon uh, 160, half. So you just grab a half. I have a half here, but I think I like this one, I like this one. And the thing is, you tie the end, because this one is the, other, the half like this, like this. So you tie the, this side, and then you puff some air, and then you tie this. So it's half a little bit of air there, but not too much. You can cut the excess, it's up to you. When you have this, you kind of bend it in half, and then you're gonna pass it to here. Look, I put my, my index, it's gonna be pushing all the green and the orange. And then look, I introduce it almost all the way, and then I grab it here. I put all my finger down, and then I grab it, because you don't wanna, you know, round, so you want this, I grab all, and then look, this is kind of like pull, but you're holding also that 160 green from here. And then you pull and then you twist so you have this okay you have this now you twist 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 and then when you cut it make sure make sure you have an extra tip like this okay so you pass it around and make sure you are holding the green and the orange right there you tie it and you can try it one more time if you want but you make sure you have some extra tip right here. Why? Because that little tip is going to help you to attach it into the X in between. So you're going to grab this and pass it in between the X. Okay, maybe you just grab one end and just pass it around. And then also, if you make some pressure in between the bubbles, it's going to stay there. So look how cute it's looking. And now here you just make a bunny face. I'm going to show you, it's very simple, it's just, um, I'm going to be like this, I don't know if you can see, it's kind of like, but it's just uh, two dots, then here if you want some hair coming coming from there, uh, then the nose, um, I made it all in black, so then it's easier, but it's up to you how much time do you have, because look, and it looks kind of like oh, super basic, but always you can add in more details if you kind of have sharpie pew, 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 for the teeth, a little bit dots for the eyes. And of course, I have, if you have soft pink, great. I don't have pink. This is a pink that I found, it's magenta. So it's very strong. Um, I don't know if you like it. Make cheeks, you can make the whisker after the cheeks and that will be a good idea and and that's it look what i have then the nose you can color it purple or leave it like that or you can go with purple do whatever you want this is up to you you are amazing <laughs> face painter or just a drawer you know coloring this thing so this is the first one the second one is will be even easier because we know already in a, my past tutorial you see how they make this head. It's not hard, it's super easy. You just need what? A five inch round, white, or if you want to make your bunny any color, you know, soft pink or whatever, make sure you have the same color for the ears. So that's gonna be a 260 balloon. 
So I'm just using a scrap from this design. What you need to make is inflate a five inch round and recommend you to inflate it all the way and then lose the air and make it soft and it's squishable. Okay, just like this. You don't want this to be so big, that's why I'm giving it this way. Tie it very close to the nozzle. Now you can measure how long you want the ears, like six finger long here and six finger long the other side. And then you kind of just, when you have this, you cut with your scissors or cutter and don't get rid of this because we're gonna use it in a moment. You will see, you tie this. Now again, you split it in half. Things doesn't have to be perfect. It's okay when it's all uh, bigger than the other one. It's okay. You just grab the uh, leftover, pass it around, tie them in between the ears. And now we're gonna make a marriage twist. We squish the ear up, up to the nozzle, and then we marriage twist all this. Remember, if you wanna pay more attention and think how you did this, check out for that tutorial. It's a super cute bunny. It's a beautiful Easter bunny or cute bunny with a dress. <laughs> so I think it's a really cool design. Now you have this, make sure you tie it. You always make sure you have bal uh, balloon scraps. I have lots of balloon scraps here on my table. So I just grab a balloon scrap, tie it here, holding everything, you know, the balloons there. And now you have this. You're gonna uh, attach it into the base. Now, uh, we made this one. Now, just because of saving pur purposes, what we're gonna do is um, take this out, okay? So I'm gonna take this, actually from here, I think it's gonna be better, right? I'm gonna take off the eggs so we don't waste time. And we, pew, we take the eggs out. And of course, this is going to separate, but it's okay. If you have this, it's okay in a moment. Attaching the bunny, it's gonna get still all the stock. The grass and the brown. Wait, what I did? I'm so dumb. <laughs> imagine this is imagine this is brown because I cut the other one. I think we made this one. So I don't wanna cut it because I wanna give this and surprise kids after school. Well, and there's a school cancel until even probably Wednesday. Uh, so we don't know, but I'm sure I will give it to someone if I get out of my house. <laughs> so you just kind of like have these two parts that you know from the basket. You pull, you know, you tell uh, this, and then this pass around. Okay, that is gonna make things stay. Now remember, uh, instead of green, we were doing it with brown, and but it's up to you because the thing is, if you prefer. And this is all opini opinions, right? I'm gonna cut this little excess, but oh, I cut it. If you prefer to make that base, the flower petals, any color, it's gonna look kind of like you have the idea now. I'm gonna bend the ears. Okay, I have this. So then you just have to make the face of the bunny. But before that, look, just like this, it's okay, it looks cute. But I was thinking, why to know to add some little eggs? And I don't want to make five inch round eggs because it's a very little bunny and there is not gonna be a space. So that's when I decided to grab some pastel colors, scraps, because you don't need them all. And this is what I do. I squish this, look. It's gonna be this technique, three finger bubble. But look how I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pull the squish and kind of tie it this way. Does it make sense? And you tie it there, and you can tie it one more time. And the thing is, it's sometimes hard, but you can practice. I squish the air, I squish the air, and then just leaving here like a couple um, three finger without the stretching is gonna be good enough. And then again here, you're gonna make another three finger bubble, and do the same idea. So this is a balloon scrap. I'm gonna. Just cut this excess and do the same thing, you see? And tie it there. Why? Because the thing is, then the eggs are gonna be holding from these bases and this is gonna be up like this. It can be coming out a little bit. So you just pass this, you know you have this, just grab one side, grab, uh, you are missing this, you pull the two little eggs and pass it around one time. That's gonna be good enough. And the thing is, you just kind of like pull and accommodating, kind of like coming out. Mm -hmm. 
and it's kind of like an empty space here. That's why it's better if you do this with the X, it's better if you add one more. So let's do it with another color. I know I have another, this is a uh, blue. So you just have to make flipping the bubble again, kind of like, like this, and then squish the air while you kind of find it where you want to tie it. But I'm sure you can make it different ways. Oh, at the end, you don't have to even have to do this. I, I pull here and squish some air, like three finger or two, and then kind of measure another two finger bubble. This is a balloon scrap, so I'm here. Um, for me, it's faster, but it's not uh, what you should do is to just lose here and I bite it. But no, you just kind of like, this is the three finger bubble. This is the excess. So you just pop this part. Oh, let's see if I can do it. Yeah, I made a little hole. Yes. Ah, I made it. <laughs> Without using my teeth. Good. Now you take the air out from here and kind of like do the same idea. You see? Pull it and tie it all the way up. Tie it a couple of times. So it's secure. And you have there two more eggs. And now one, you attach it in the center. And the other one is gonna go all the way to the back. And kind of like pass it one time around. That's what I'm doing and pressing it. And then kind of like accommodating the back like this, laying. And look how cute. And I got about and beautiful. <laughs> look it, I love it. I love it. It's a very cool design. Again, a cutie one. So it's, um, I think I'm making it into candy cups. So look at this, look at this. So look, it's just like this and it looks this like grass, this kind of the basket part. You can remember do it with brown 260, brown. Not green, I think it will be better with brown. Brown, brown 260. Awesome, now Sharpie time. And again, this already I showed them in the other tutorial. So what we're gonna do it, just put on, show you like this, and do it better than me, of course, okay? Have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for subscribing to this channel, for liking the videos, for your comments, and don't forget, this channel has so many tutorials for different themes, so now we are into Easter, and you can check up on my playlist that is on this YouTube channel. I have a lot of playlists. There is one that says Easter or Happy Easter, or Easter designs, there's another playlist that says Mother's Day, other one that is cartoons, other ones animals, Valentine's, Christmas, and infinite. <laughs> well, not infinite, but there's lots of playlists. So I hope uh, you enjoyed this tutorial. Please tell me in the comments, what do you think about this design? I think it's really cool, have a lot of potential, and just the idea to make, look, little eggs, big eggs. So, I mean, big eggs, mini carrots with bunny faces so this is so cool so just play with that show me also share with me on instagram you can tag me i would love to see what you came out with all this you know like tutorial uh again my instagram alpaca global balloons find me there follow me don't ask me to be friends on facebook because facebook i try to keep it for my clients like when i do birthday parties or events i keep you know uh more people in my community in Cheyenne, Wyoming. So, but Instagram is more for me in the balloon artist. I would love to meet you there at least <laughs> one day, maybe in the future, I will go to one of those balloon congress uh, conventions. But, but from now, Instagram is the best way to also um, find me. If you wanna do a comment, remember, I always read all my comments, all the comments I read it. And that's it. Thank you so much again, and don't forget, check it out in the description. All my videos in the description, you will find ideas on how to collaborate with this YouTube channel. Ciao, ciao!